He told him, oh, 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 where Mace at, man? I got to ask Mace a question, man. Mace been tripping. Mace, what the fuck is you doing releasing diss songs on Puffy, bro? What the fuck you doing, bro? <laughs> You're listening to Come on, bro. You know that nigga ain't going to respond. Come on, bro. What you doing? Wag, chill out. <laughs> you can't be that mad, bro. <laughs> I ain't mad at all, actually. You know the nigga is not going to respond. He wasn't and me and you respond. both know. Me and you know Puff ain't going to respond to that shit. You know that. He wasn't supposed and to me, respond. And me and you both know that you a little smarter than, well, a whole lot smarter today than you was all them yesterdays. But Mace, you took that bag, bro. What bag? Nigga, you keep accusing this nigga uh, uh, he got something of yours and the only way he could have it is if you did a contract with the nigga. What you mean? Yeah. You keep saying that, that the nigga, what do you keep saying? Is it your publishing or some song? What, what is it that he won't release? Nah, we had, a, we had an understanding that you wouldn't know about. Okay, but what? Uh-oh. Did he run on me? He got on on me. <laughs> yeah, that was tricky, nigga. You just died. I was a rabbit hole. <laughs> he got on on me. He got on on me. And now I could be at this he conversation. Spin. He spit. When he wasn't in the room. So as soon as I see a nigga in the room, we gonna holler. He know, I know. Contracts that you don't a... know about, bro. It's them contracts you don't know about. Bro, I'm confused on my man running out this fucking house. Mm, he's there. So, I this is back. This song. Oh, oh yeah. Back. Oh yeah. Back. Oh yeah. I was saying that we had we had an agreement for something to happen that didn't take work. place. Puff gonna stand though. You know that, bro. No, nah, that's cool. And I'm gonna stand on what I'm gonna stand on. That's what makes us both stand on different places. That's respected as man. So how many more diss songs you gonna have on Puff? I don't really make I don't really make diss songs. I really just speak my mind. Like I speak my mind once, and then after that, it goes wherever it goes. Cause That's you know I, I was with Fabio and them last night. Niggas is saying shit. All you gave him was five thousand. Yeah, I gave him seven hundred and fifty. We paperwork people, right? So you guys yep. know about what the paperwork says. I I gave him seven hundred thousand. That's after you went and got the deal. Yeah. So if you ask me for, if you ask me to help you, I'm not supposed to pay you to help you. You're supposed to pay me to help you, right? You're a businessman. Well, so no, nah, if you see so some value worth, in somebody, no, you got to give him a little there, bag. I, was, I wasn't going there for him. I was going there for an artist named JD. And the reason oh. why I do, I do the deals the way I do them is so when we go to the table, I could give an artist back the things that the label would take from them. So it's really like securing them. So when we went to the table, I was able to give them back all of the stuff that I originally signed off to myself. So where there was the one hundred A and T show. Got you. Got you. Okay, I got you. What's now, the name, Mace. What's the name of the diss song, right? Now, Mace, Mace, crazy man. That nigga, I forget. He he put that shit out about two months ago. He crazy. Got the. <laughs> He knew Puff wasn't going to respond to that shit. Share the room, good people. That that crazy nigga Mace knew Puff was not going to say one word back. He, Mace back. <laughs> he knew what he I was mean, doing. You're listening to the that nigga Mace crazy. Show. I said, that nigga know Puff is not going to say nothing back at all. That nigga survived death row. And all that shit, that nigga ain't looking for no conflict with no nigga. Oh, yeah. I, I, when I speak, I know it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say something. I know it ain't the truth. We live in a social world media that people can hold you um, accountable for what you're saying. So I know there's nothing I'm saying that's not true. So you think Puff can knock you out in the third round or think you'll get him in a second? <laughs> I don't I'm, know, I'm, you nigga. You know the I'm nigga actually, in shape a little bit, Mace. I'm actually an ex Golden Glove. That's something you probably didn't know about me. Yeah, but you know the nigga in shape a little bit, bro. I don't know. <laughs> he get up in there and do some of them spin moves, nigga. He get to doing them spin moves, you ain't gonna catch him in the ring, nigga. To the one nah, that's why. That's, that's why everybody always talk about me, but they'll never go to the hands because they know they ain't gonna win that. They know they're not gonna win that. 
So take it somewhere else immediately. Oh shit. I said they say yo Mace got a diss song. I said Mace tripping. Mace confident. Nate, man, Mace over there on some bullshit. He was bored. He know he on some bullshit. <laughs> yo, whack, you out. Bro, y'all got to understand, he knew that that man, <clears throat> he knew he was going to listen to it. That's all that song was about. I want to tell you how I feel again. That's it. He no, knew that nigga said, wasn't going to say nothing. I never said how I felt. I never said how I felt. In 20-some 20, in 20 years, I never said how I felt. When in the song, you address how you felt, right? Yeah, that was one time. That's what you're supposed so, to do. You're supposed so you to ain't seen that nigga you life. telling me all these years, bro, you ain't ran into him? Nah, last time I saw him was right before um, Kobe Kobe passed away at the um, awards. So I was supposed to go do the um, awards. And then after that, we were supposed to work out the business. And then when after I did the show, you know, more funny business happened. So that's where I, that's where I felt. Oh, so y'all was supposed to work out something, then he got he went dark on you. You know how I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's weird. Why would he say he gonna work it out? And then get weird. What the fuck is wrong with him? Nah, you know how when other people get involved, I think a lot of people had their, you know, the mediators and the middlemen and everybody like, yo, I'm gonna get Mace to do this and you do this for Mace. You know how I go. And then they... The, the thing about me, whatever we talk about, that's what it's going to have to be. And yeah, but that's that. what I'm saying. That didn't make sense to me because Puff is usually a nigga. He going to do what he want to do. You know that, brother. You like it or not. That's what it is. This what's on the table. That's what it is. So for him to allow some some mediators to change up for what y'all talk about to the is a little nah, different. No, but that's where, the class, that's where the clash is because... I mean, most people you could get away with that with, and, and he, he know he can't get away with that with me. That's what's been a clash in our relationship, because I'm not going to go for what everybody else going to go for. Yeah, that's why, see, I'm going to be real, right? I didn't know if you was on some DMX shit on Belly when you started <laughs> doing the pastor shit. And I know you something like an asshole, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, you know, you fooled a lot of these people with your little demeanor and all the little shit. But, you know, you, you get on your wicked shit when you want to. Nah, I'm just like, I'm I'm 100% of what we talk about. Whatever we talk about, even like with music, one of the things that people don't didn't understand about me, like I told everybody I was not to be like in music for a long time. So it whether they took my words serious or not is on them. It's not nobody that could say, yo, Mason never really told me that. From the first day I got into music, I told them, like, yo, I'm going to be here for really one album. And that was already understood. I said it more than one time, even in interviews. But people didn't really take it serious. So when Your contract was a one-off, bro? No, but that's, again, that's on that's on them, whether they take that serious or not. Hey, you crazy, yo, mate. You know you crazy, motherfucker, for saying nah, that, because, right? Nah, because... I'm the fuck the you money, sign a two, money. three, four, five album deal and then say that's on them. You tripping. No, the reason why I'm saying that is because when you do a deal, you only get money for one album. Back in those days, you only get money for one album. Each yes. album, to the you get yeah. the money. So I never took the money for a second album and not deliver the album. As they gave me the money, I produced the albums. So as, even though we have it in writing, the label can come back and say, you know what, we don't want to give you a third album or we don't want to give you a second album. So it's not like I signed something and took the money and ran with the money. We have an agreement. If you show me the money, then we have an album. If they didn't show no money, we didn't have no album. You get you, you get out of that works. Yeah, for real. It, it's not like today where they upfront you all the money and niggas go crazy and buy chains and all that. It wasn't like that. It was like, I mean, for the money that I got, I, I produced a thousand times over. If you say you gave Mace $20,000 and Mace produced all of those records in the 90s, it was really death row against me after Biggie died. So I produced all those records. I mean, wrote them and did everything about them. So arranged them and everything. So. Why Why would I be somewhere asking you for anything, realistically? I'm the go-to. 
Well, I know you still be in there with that pen. I know that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Tubby from Interscope. I still call him Tubby from Interscope. Yeah, so, Tubby's dope. I'm the only nigga calling him that. He hear Tubby from Interscope. He knows me. Yeah. What yeah, happened? So. What happened with what happened with YSL though? Oh, the nigga. Um, what's the nigga name? He telling like a motherfucker. Um, Yad Gotti. Yad Gotti been telling since 2018. Um, wait, wait. No, he telling 2018 or 2015. 2015. He been telling my nigga. That's like um. That's thugs. That's a nigga be holding a backpack with all the money and the jewelry and everything. He, he would thug everywhere they go. <clears throat> he told uh told the police he got mother niggas some guns and shit to go put some work in on the enemies. But he been telling. Uh, no, he told in 2018 on some shit that dates back to 2015. So if the nigga been there telling for four years, and he told you already know he told to stay out. It ain't no telling, nigga, how much he telling he didn't did. You know, we knew on the 27 Codes, you know, Mace, we know the odds of that is a good at least 10, 12 of them is going to turn for sure. Right? It's 28 so, people? 28. He got 27 Codes. He make 28, nigga, uh, on this indictment. You know what time it is, bro. That's how the mob oh, can't even sad. survive that. Yeah, the mob can't even survive that, so. You're listening to the 100 ENT show.